I'm proud of this crypto portfolio I have today. I'll show you my allocations here, explain exactly why I'm holding what I'm holding. And yes, there are a small percentage of holdings in others that are not listed here. I have made a big change to my crypto portfolio since I bought all those different altcoins. Ethereum and Bitcoin used to be much smaller positions. I just loaded up on large one-time buys for each of those because I want a portfolio with the highest quality projects that have the least chance of going to zero for the majority of my positions. Now I can make multipliers in some of these other ones, but the worst case scenario in investing is to buy something that loses value. You might as well just held US dollars and let those lose value in the bank. So here's why I've done my portfolio like this. And uh, I, uh, I sold a bunch of the other crappy altcoins I had in my portfolio to make room for the highest quality projects. I did a video saying that Bitcoin and Ethereum are for rich people while altcoins are for the poor. And uh, that's what a lot of you think. A lot of you think that if you don't already have a lot of money, you need to buy a bunch of altcoins and hope to then make enough Bitcoin and Ethereum or you could have some real wealth. But what I see is people who want to build wealth mostly buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and then buy some other things with promise. So let's take a look first at Ethereum because that's my largest position, so that deserves a significant explanation. This is a website called Ultrasound Money that I love. It shows you basic Ethereum metrics and you can see that 100,000 Ethereum has been burned more than has been created in the last 30 days. That means Ethereum right now is deflationary. This is why one reason why I have much more Ethereum than Bitcoin in my portfolio. Because Bitcoin, through mining, proof of work mining specifically, is constantly inflating millions of dollars a day. But Ethereum's actually at the current rate going down 1% per year in supply so if you have a crypto that is to me ethereum is the largest crypto community in the world now yes i'll show you the addresses bitcoin does have more active addresses but ethereum has all these erc20s on it and if you go to the value locked in ethereum you'll see that the value secured in ethereum counting the eth the erc20s and nfts is pretty close to where bitcoin is already and if you look at the ERC20 leaderboard, you can see some of the top places that the value is held. So to me, Ethereum is truly the top crypto right now. It was the first platform to do smart contracts. And uh, I think it's a steal to grab it below $2,000. I think that's fantastic. Let's look at some more metrics for Ethereum. So in the last 24 hours, over 400,000 addresses active in Ethereum. One of the biggest value metrics for a network is crypto, especially, but companies primarily value themselves based on at least companies that are primarily online, things like Google, Facebook, etc. Well, Meta now. They value based on daily active users. So you've got 400,000 plus daily active users right now on ethereum in terms of active addresses at least i know one person can use multiple addresses but one person can use multiple facebook or google accounts as well if you see that distribution also there's actually more addresses there's 98 million addresses on ethereum with some kind of balance so there's actually more addresses distributed on uh, ethereum than even on bitcoin so even though there's more active addresses on bit in terms of total address if you look at every single unique address that's ever been created there's like a billion on bitcoin but ethereum actually has more addresses that have some kind of a balance so there's 39 million bitcoin addresses that have more than a dollar there's 58 million ethereum addresses that have more than a dollar so if you look at the data ethereum is in my opinion clearly the top crypto network community however you want to phrase it i see that ethereum is already number one 
in many different metrics and it, it has the potential of having a bigger market cap than bitcoin one day and with it being deflationary and with the possibility of staking it if i've got a whole lot of money ethereum to me is one of the most attractive investments in the world right now and uh, i'm seeing this more other people with big wallets are going to see this as well as well especially as people try and escape or have insurance against the rest of the financial system so this is why ethereum is my largest position that said i am going i've got enough ethereum i mean i have more than two ethereum right now in this wallet and most of that bought within the last couple months so i'm going to build out more bitcoin and more in the rest of my altcoins but i intend to keep bitcoin and ethereum at about 50 percent of my portfolio because to me there's almost there's very low downside and huge potential upside and the number one rule of investing is don't lose money if you lose money then you have to make money back just to get even and uh, you might as well have just done nothing so uh, this uh, the next one we'll look at is bitcoin bitcoin is right now 23 percent of my portfolio because i made a big bitcoin buy with all those stupid altcoins i had before i did a one-time organization as i said to get rid of everything that was crap and move them into a lot of ethereum but also i made a, a more than a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin i bought as well now for bitcoin bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency it has the highest amount of daily active users hundreds of thousands and the fees on bitcoin recently have gotten pretty significant but there's you can see hundreds of set over 700,000 active addresses in the last 24 hours often transacting large amounts of money per transaction compared to a lot of the newer networks like avalanche solana where a lot of the transactions are small or almost nothing these addresses on bitcoin moving around a lot of money and bitcoin and ethereum are two of the easiest ways to move money around when compared to the rest of the financial system if you look on bitcoin you see there's over 39 million addresses with a balance greater than a dollar which not as many as the 58 million on ethereum and uh, you have 11 million addresses on bitcoin with a balance greater than 0.01 btc and uh, that's going to to me you have to have bitcoin it has the brand recognition it has proof of work for what looks like decentralization but there's a few big mining companies that have huge influence and had, there was a double spend on a, a fork on bitcoin and the one mining company was able to mine another block and essentially clean that up so bitcoin is not perfectly decentralized bitcoin also has very few developers that are actually on the github right now so to me i see ethereum as a better number one position however bitcoin i have more bitcoin right now than almost all the rest of the altcoins combined so my portfolio right now 64 percent ethereum and bitcoin leaving about 36 percent for the rest of the altcoins so my bitcoin position is pretty big it's four times bigger than the next altcoin in my portfolio so let's i don't think we need to talk that much bitcoin's pretty obvious at this point so let's take a look at deso so the top what i would call a riskier altcoin i'm holding is called decentralized social and i think out of all the altcoins i have this one has the biggest in terms of multiplier potential this is deso.com you can see it's got a very fancy website here and deso is to me my number one pick for when a decentralized social media narrative hits and there's a huge need for it there will be a massive hit on a decentralized social media narrative at some point Deso to me has the best technology and uh, thousands of daily active users millions of accounts lots of celebrities already have accounts on Deso. this actually has the text and the pictures directly on the blockchain this Deso is the best technology i see for decentralized social media and you can easily create an account on it right with your google account or your metamask or you can just create it with keys 
Diso has been proof of work. It's going to move to proof of stake, which I think will make it much more worth stacking. Because with proof of work, you just have the miners that constantly are dumping it who don't necessarily have a vested interest in the ecosystem. I mean, they probably do, but they can just be setting up mining rigs and to make money. So Diso, I'll show you an example of what Diso actually looks like. This is on diamondapp.com. And uh, there's a link to this in the description. What's amazing about Diso, as small as it is, it only has a hundred million dollar market cap, and yet I've earned hundreds of dollars on Diso already. And every single creator has their own creator coin on Diso. And Jerry Banfield coins over a hundred dollars, which is awesome. And you, as a creator, this is the creator coins are secured by Diso. Which means when you buy a creator coin, you're locking up DSO. Which to me, if this ever gets as popular as I think it could be, this price could really rocket on DSO. And DSO might become the largest spot in my portfolio. That said, this is riskier because it does only have a few thousand active daily users. There are other decentralized social media apps that actually have more users. The technology, to, in my opinion on this, is the best. It's not listed on some major exchanges right now. Besides Coinbase, That's it's hardly listed anywhere else. There's a few others, but it's not on Binance, KuCoin, Mexi, or a lot of other places should be. So I think this has some of the biggest multiplier potential in my portfolio, and this is a proven asset. Like this, this has technology, it's out there, it's working, you can see it. I hate investing in things that are speculative and a dream. This is working right now, and it's working really well. And I've made a few hundred dollars on this, just doing a few posts, while the DSO price and mar is only around ten dollars and the market caps only around a hundred million if this thing flies all these earnings will fly as well like if the price 10x is all my earnings will go up 10x on here as well because i'm earning those in DSO. so to me this is a great time to create an account on DSO. start posting start following me and be in position before this blows up so the next thing in my portfolio is internet computer and if you look you'll see that internet computer is i've got about the same amount of internet computer as DSO. internet computer to me has the very best technology for a third generation so-called blockchain bitcoin if you label it as bitcoin was a first generation all it does is crypto things like dogecoin first generation all it does is send crypto transactions it's basically just money and uh, try, you know that you send back and forth. Then you get something second generation like Ethereum, which also has smart contracts as well as currency. And then third generation is things that unlike Ethereum are extremely fast and scalable. And uh, internet computer is the only project right now where you can actually do everything directly on the protocol. This website you're seeing is directly on internet computer. It The transactions here, the speed it can process at is doing thousands of transactions per second all the time. It is, this is, has the same kind of functionality as Amazon Web Services. So you can host your entire app directly on internet computer. Unlike all these other chains, where you have to use something like Amazon Web Services to actually host your app, which means all these other cryptos end up being very centralized be or having centralized points of failure. For example, something like Uniswap, it does have other interfaces on different websites, but you're still hosting the main Uniswap website or almost everything else. All these other decentralized social media protocols are hosted often on just a limited number of websites. They had somebody, one person often is controlling those. They don't like you, they can hide you on the website. And this internet computer is truly revolutionary because you also have one internet identity that you can use on internet computer. And you're seeing things on internet computer like open chat, which this raised 1 million ICP in six hours, which is about $5 million. This is like a telegram, 
but it's completely on internet computer. Then you've got decentralized social media accounts. You've got DEXs. All of these built directly on internet computer. And I'll give you an idea of exactly what this looks like. So if you go over to district, now this is loading directly off of internet computer protocol. This is a decentralized social media alternative where you can actually post and everything's on the blockchain. And here's my profile. I've actually got 40 followers on here, just effortlessly just putting up my own YouTube videos on here. And uh, there's no transaction fees for this. A lot of the other decentralized social media apps and what are kind of they some of them require transaction fees or the blockchains are slow or there's some centralized entity that can downvote you or hide your profile this allows anybody to just build their own app very easily on internet computer then you can use your internet identity to just log into any of these apps very easily and that to me makes internet computer truly unlike anything else out there to invest in right now. Now this did get, it looks like the whole Alameda FTX crew tried to actually destroy this and have suck as much money out when it launched as possible. The chart has been straight down for this. I think this will have a day where it just goes up massively. So we'll wrap up here with the last couple of projects I have in my portfolio as some of the top positions. We'll talk about Avalanche really quickly. Avalanche is another one of these third generations really fast blockchains. I, uh, I find Avalanche is very easy to use to send things like USDC from one app to another. And uh, Avalanche, out of all these blockchains, cryptocurrency communities, one of the main things you need to pay attention to is how many people are actually using it and especially over a period of time any of these can spike for a little bit with an airdrop or something but how many people are really using it and coming back to it every day and what i like about avalanche you're seeing a consistent amount tens of thousands of daily active users every day avalanche to me is set up to scale really well as a third generation layer three i am also big into solana and i'm going to be buying more solana and pushing solana up higher in my portfolio i just did I bought 25 AVAX the other day with some of those crappy cryptos I used because you need 25 AVAX to delegate to a validator. So I won't probably be buying any more Avalanche, but I do have 25 AVAX delegated and staked, and then I'm earning about 7 or 8% interest on that. So that to me is an ideal scenario where I've got something that... I, there's a lot of other research I could show you about Avalanche, the partnerships, the things that are building on it. But long story short, you got a lot of active addresses on it. You get 25 AVAX, stake it, get a good interest rate. Even if the price stays the same or goes up a little bit, you have those staking rewards. Then if it pumps, you're looking really good. So the last two biggest positions in my portfolio, one is Hello, and all these are linked in the description. Hello is looks like it will be a leader in crypto entertainment. They're making a show called Killer Whales. Joe Paris interviewed the founder of this project on his channel. And I've talked about Hello before, but one reason Hello is such a high position in my portfolio is I bought it before it pumped and then it's done a five, six, seven X since I bought it. So it's came up a lot in terms of its valuation from where I bought it. Now, this is a very speculative early stage project. There is no show yet. There is no clear use for the token. So I don't think I'll be buying any more Hello, but right now it is one of the biggest positions and I plan to hold my Hello for the long term. Finally, the last one I'll mention is Cardano. Cardano is an, another what you'd call third generation blockchain or maybe second and a half, depending on how you'd want to label it. They've got a lot of exciting developments coming out. And what I, you've got tens of thousands of users active on Cardano every day, millions of addresses. But what I'm seeing on Cardano that really stands out is they're building a lot of stuff on Cardano. If you look at this proof of GitHub, Cardano is consistently in the top 10 out of these different crypto communities. 
Cardano, there, there's a lot of things being built on Cardano. There's tens of thousands of users on Cardano every day. And uh, I uh, think that Cardano is something you definitely want to have because it is way less of a market cap right now than Ethereum. And uh, with all the building going on, the Cardano community, the Cardano founder, very active, outspoken, and uh, Cardano it's for the for the price and the amount of people using it and all the exciting developments i don't the video is already 20 minutes long i i can really go into depth so i'm trying not to go into too much depth here because i've already talked a lot about this but there's a lot of building on cardano there's a very passionate engaged active community on cardano i'm really excited for the future of cardano so this is a crypto portfolio i'm proud of here that is not full of a bunch of crap that sucks and that has no long-term potential. I uh, am going to, the, the Ethereum percentage will drop over time unless the price pumps hard for Ethereum, which it absolutely could do. I think Ethereum easily will see 50, if not 100,000 per Ethereum one day. So I we've really went on long enough in this video now. Really appreciate your love and support. If you want to, all right, I guess we haven't gone on quite long enough. If you want to see the cryptos that I think suck and that are trash and you, you don't want to hold any of, I've made a dedicated channel to this called Jerry Banfield Crypto Reviews where I just rip projects that are a waste of money, that are really speculative, that aren't worth your time and energy. So this channel is where we're, we're going after those. And this is off to a great start with just nine videos. Yes, and I don't, this channel, we go for brutal honesty. If the video gets 90% dislikes, I don't care. I'm gonna tell y'all which projects I think are terrible. If you wanna see my full crypto portfolio and everything I'm holding, I've got a link in the description to my crypto coaching community. My crypto coaching community will, I show you what crypto I'm buying every single day. I'll show you the exact dollar amounts and everything else I'm holding in my portfolio right now. I will review your portfolio via email one time and give you any recommendations. You also get a Zoom call and lifetime access to my crypto coaching community Discord when you join today. And the price will never be this low again. And it's just one single cost, no other upsells or anything else like that. So I really appreciate your love and support. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.